Hi everyone, welcome to Kilkenny Library's Summer Stars. My name is Maeve Devoy and today I'm going to teach you how to make your own notebook out of paper and string and then I'm going to talk to you about my top five tips on how to fill up that notebook. And um, so to get started, grab some paper and some string and let's go. I hope you've all created your notebooks and I hope it wasn't too difficult with me making a few mistakes along the way and um, but guys I want you to know that you're able to create those notebooks in lots of different sizes you're also able to add some colored paper so you can make yourself a cover and you can also decorate the covers with your wonderful artwork and um, so hopefully you might send us in some pictures of the notebooks you've made along with some of the work that you've I suppose created inside it. Um, I said I was going to talk about my top five writing tips and I'm going to jump straight into my first one which is to plan plan plan. Um, planning used to be my least favorite part of writing and over the years I have realized that it's actually one of the most important parts. The more you plan your story your poem, comic, strip, short, or even song, the easier it is for you to write it. It means you know exactly what's happening and why. If you don't know these, I suppose, the events and how your characters are going to feel about them, what you're gonna find is that you're gonna reach a point where you don't know what's coming next, you're gonna get stressed, and you're probably going to get some writer's block. Now, there's plenty of reasons why people or writers can get writer's block, but I do believe one of the reasons why is because we haven't done enough planning. So guys, get yourselves a piece of paper or hopefully find a spot in the notebook you've just created and create a timeline. So just draw a line straight across the middle of the page, put your start, your middle and your end on there and really just start filling it in. You're also, I suppose, sorry, also remember that you're not writing everything in cement, okay? You're able to change these events. You're able to look at them on the page and see if they work and if they don't. If they don't, then you can rub them out and replace them with something far more exciting. Now, tip two. When it comes to creating characters, I want you guys to remember that we're not perfect, okay? We all have imperfections, things that we're good at, things that we're not so good at, and our characters should have those too. If you create a character that's perfect, your readers are going to know that something's up, okay? They're probably going to struggle to relate to them and to find something in common with them. And when it comes to reading and falling in love with characters, um, liking them and disliking them, usually it really comes down to what we have in common with these characters and I suppose even the opposites that we recognize in them. So what you need to do is give your characters some strengths and some weaknesses, something they're good at and something they're not so good at. Maybe they're really smart but they're clumsy, maybe they're afraid of heights but they love roller skating. 
there's so many possibility out so many possibilities out there um, and have fun with it you know if you've got two characters maybe one of them is terrible at sports and the other one is great at sports and then the one who's terrible at sports is great at maths while the other one is not so good at it that way they balance each other out tip three everybody which is one of my favorites to tell everybody about or to go on about some might say and it is that the real world can inspire our stories there's lots of wonderful things lots of wild things and some not so great things that are happening in the world around us all of the time i think we can be too focused on our phones and computers and i suppose our busy lives these days that we don't really look at the world around us as much as we used to and I believe that there are some, well not some, I think there is plenty of treasure out there to be found, especially to be used as inspiration for your stories. So guys, pay attention. You never know what you might see or who you might meet that might play a role in one of your stories. Hmm. Tip four. And this is one that sometimes I might break myself um, and it's usually because I'm in a hurry and I'm terrible at leaving things in the same place. Um, but the tip is to keep your notebook with you. The more you have your notebook with you and hopefully that'll be all of the time, it means that you always have somewhere to write down your thoughts, your ideas. It is surprising how quickly they will come and go. There is a wonderful and hugely famous poet called Maya Angelou. And she once said that she felt like poems would come and go uh, in a flash. She said she would be out in the field picking cotton and an idea or a poem or a verse or a phrase would come into her mind and she would charge down the field to try to get to her notebook, to her pen as quick as she could, because if she didn't, that wonderful phrase would float on down the field to, oh, sorry guys, there's a fly, <laughs> would float on down the field to somebody else. So she recognized how important it was to keep her ideas in her notebook where they were safe. And guys, hopefully you will learn to do the same it's really just a great habit to get into. So now that you've created your lovely notebooks, hopefully you will keep them with you and hopefully this fly will be gone by the next tip. Now for tip five, everyone, and this one seems like it should be easier than it is sometimes. And that is to have fun. If you're writing and you realize that you are stressing yourself out, all of the pressure you're putting on yourself to write the perfect story or create, you know, these perfect characters, which remember, we're not going to create, we're going to give them some flaws. Um, but it is, sorry, I do realize the pressure that we all put on ourselves to create. And it's that stress, that stress, that pressure sometimes that can really crush our ability and you know I suppose it kind of forces our imagination to shut down a little bit so if you find yourself in that position go take a little walk take a break go step outside or look at the window whatever it is you know to just separate yourself and to give yourself a minute to let your imagination breathe again when you stop having fun that's when, you know, your creativity kind of, I suppose it kind of walks out and then it's, you know, your logic that steps in. So remind yourself to be having fun, enjoying yourself and creating characters and stories that you're excited about. Once you're excited about it, you are going to put your heart into it and you're going to have a blast doing it. Okay, so good luck. Before we go, guys, I want to thank you for plugging in and listening and to thank Kilkenny Libraries 
for bringing us together. I also want to say again that if you wanted to send us pictures of your notebooks and any pieces of writing that you've been working on inside them, that would be absolutely wonderful. And I would love to be able to give you some feedback. So guys, don't be shy. We're here to help and enjoy the summer stars.